Hey guys, it's Ken from KBD Productions TV and welcome to Twin Villages XP Farm, day 19. And between the last episode and this episode, what have I done? I've started decorating, putting up some very nice paintings. I decorated the floor thanks to my buddy Chris from Modeler, uh, Tabletop Modeler. Uh, he said, oh, you should put an emblem in the ground. And I said, oh, that's a good idea. And he said something about a, a sun, a uh, blazing sun. So we did that. We've got a blazing sun in the floor. How do you like? You can always dig that out if you want. A big chunk of gold. Uh, our spawner is working like crazy. I put some lighting in the wall so you don't see the torches sticking out all the way up. Uh, what else have I done? What else have I done? I think I put these stairs here. Uh, nicely like that. Uh, let's just take you quickly around the spawner. So, I've dug more out. Put more glass. The ladder now is on this side. As opposed to being on a pillar right beside it. I figured, why not use utilize this space? And then I put the torches on that wall instead. Put some more accents and cool things. Now you can walk right around. Hey, look at that. Every once in a while they fall out. Oh, no, they don't fall out. Uh, what else did I do? I organized, I, I dug this through, which you'll be happy about. I just wanted to look for some more diamonds. As you can see, I have a diamond sword now, an extra diamond pickaxe. You guys have lots of supplies. I might use up a little bit of it in a couple minutes. So I built that all the way back to the village. So there was multiple ways of getting to and from the village in your XP farm. Just a second. I forgot to set my timer. And I am pressing clock on my iPhone. Start. Okay. You get an extra minute, you lucky devils. Uh, I finished this off. Uh, what I was going to do today is... Uh, let's just go to... I, I think I did that between last episode and this episode. So you got your bones. You've got your arrows. You've got your... Uh, bows and the same stuff is in there but right now this is kind of like your quick holding sp spot um, if you grab your wool it doesn't matter what color wool and you put a bunch of sticks around you'll make some paintings of course I overclicked and they're stackable which is very helpful and I dropped my sticks uh, let's grab our paintings go downstairs for a quick second let's do a quick decoration of sorts you can do a single oh look at that weather boss I'm just trying to make sure it's the one I want, which is, I want it to be centered. So you just keep clicking on it, right click, left click, right click, left click, right click, left click. Keep doing that until you get the right one. And of course the paintings fly all around the room. I'm not exactly sure why they just don't come right back to me. Come on. That's kind of cool for now. Oh, I made a hole in my wall. Let's put that back. Let's put another painting right here. Come on, paintings. Work for me. I'm sure we'll leave the wither boss there for you. You guys can take him down. Put them back up again. Right click, left click, come on. We'll do that for now because that's as far as I want to go with that. Okay, so you got a nice little enchantment room, nice and cozy. There's uh, a couple drip problems, but uh, you'll have to call, call the plumber on that one. Uh, I started building some rooms underneath. Haven't quite finished that. Again, this is the, uh, all right, I'll have to show you upstairs. Here's your food area. Lots and lots of potatoes. Got a nice little walk through here. And this is where our portal is going to go. Tabletop. My buddy Chris said he wanted to see a an, uh, a portal. A portal room. So this is just to indicate where the spawner is. And that goes up to the next level. So you got rooms you can do more stuff with. You can go up at least one more level. And I think the uh, skeletons will still spawn. Every once in a while, I keep getting a uh, spider in my spawner. Spider in my spawner. And uh, so you got to clear him out. That's why it's good to have glass. Some people ask why glass. It's kind of it's kind of cool to watch things happen. Plus, like I said, you can smack the glass out, see where the spider is, shoot him, kill him, close it back up again. We even have some uh, new guests. Uh, what else have I done? I don't think... Oh, I built this out a little bit nicer. So I got a nice little hallway. With uh, pillars all the way down the hallway. Almost all the way down the hallway. This is a kind of a cool spot. So I've got this sword. While we're in the enchantment room, I guess we should have enchanted it. 
because I got another 30 levels to cash in here. I think I only use this on one skeleton. Yeah, let's take the first thing. Nice. Knockback two and sharpness three. And that is a present for you guys. Let's put that away because I don't need it right now. Uh, I think this is our new area for stuff. So you got a nice little enchantment, enchanted thing. I'm going to put that there for you. I'm going to use this up a bit. Uh, we've got a diamond sh shovel. Let's kill some more skellies. La di da. And a la di da. So I think we should uh, build a nether portal for you. And then, you know, go into the nether real quick like. See if we can find at least a uh, spawner, a uh, blaze spawner. Grab at least one blaze rod. Come back here and start your uh, brewing stand for you. Hit him with a potato. Let's eat a little bit. Yeah, yummy taters. Loaded taters. Every once in a while they do escape. When you exit the map and you come back into this room and this uh, holding area is full of skeletons. When you come back and load this map back in, some of the skeletons will escape, so always be prepared. Don't just jump into it and then go, uh, go get yourself a snack, because you might die from skellies attacking your body that has no defenses. Yeah, come on. Skeletons with armor suck, because I don't get it. I got a few things. Uh, so again, I just quickly go here, throw the bows there, throw my extra arrows there, bones there, and there's an extra... What I like to do every once in a while is to empty these out, because this is like the quick storage. This is the long-term storage back here. And as you can see, I've been mending a few bows. All the new, the mended bows are there. Like brand new bows, you can enchant them if you want. All right, so let's go down to the basement. Uh, I don't think I can go down that way. I have to go this way. Yeah, let's do it. And I also think I found the end. Uh, every once in a while, like I told you, the map doesn't generate fast enough, so it leaves those big blank spots. And uh, the end is actually really close to this area. I'm not sure if you want to go there, though. This was the other place. Let's just uh, see if there's any more. I don't even know what level I'm in. Uh, there we go. I'm at 10, which is pretty close to the bottom. We might have some lava down here. Might not. I don't hear anything. Look at that. We're already at the bottom. We'll grab some extra coal while we're here, for sure. Cause it's not, oh, look at this. It's like a pocket of heaven, I guess you could say. Maybe not. I think next I'm going to be uh, going to try Sky Grid. Oh, look, there's lava. Uh, backup can. I didn't even hear that. My volume's up. Usually you can hear lava. Oh, and diamond! How lucky is that? Ladies and gentlemen. Um, so the things I wanted to get were right here all along. The other thing I forgot to tell you is when I was digging that tunnel... I uh, found two pockets of diamonds, and I got like 30-something diamonds. Let's go back upstairs real quick. Uh, is this the right way? No. Well, kind of. That is the right way, because that's the basement. So I found two pockets of diamonds along here. I've covered up all the holes and stuff. I don't need my FN F3. Let's hide that. Because I don't think this has Fortune 3 on it. And I had Fortune 3. I'm not sure where I put that pickaxe. Let's grab the Fortune 3 pickaxe. Because it gives us more and we are greedy. So look at that. Nice. See, uh, there we go. Fortune 3. So we definitely don't want to dig up diamonds without a Fortune 3 pickaxe. Let's grab a little jug of water. Uh, the best place to get a quick jug of water uh, let's put that there because we don't need that there that can go back to its spot as we can do this there we go we got some water we are going to go get some diamonds 
Because diamonds are forever. All right. Let's just fly down this hallway. Let's just move this torch over one. Let's see if there's a lake of lava here. One thing I like to have is my cobblestone right here. So just in case lava starts pouring out of the wall like it almost did last time. Okay, let's go down one more. So there's a little bit of a lake there. Uh, come on. Uh-huh. There we go. Lots of obsidian. Nice. It looks like I've been here before, too, which is even cooler. So let's put this fire out. Where have we been here? Interesting. So I came down here one point, didn't know how close I was to diamonds. And they were right there. So I'll always dig underneath them first. Just for that reason. Alrighty. Sometimes if you click in the lava, it will help you out a bit. Ooh, like that. And I killed my water source. Well, that sucks. Okay. Let's just dig this out. See if there's still lava underneath. And there is. And I killed my only water source. Nice. So, um, let's just quickly go upstairs. All right, we'll just get some water from the lake here so I don't have to replace lily pads and stuff. All right. I technically should make a endless water supply somewhere. That would probably help. I'm accidentally going to click on something with this water bucket. Look at that. Two more diamonds for you. I've hidden stuff everywhere. Well, almost everywhere. All right, here we go. Back downstairs. Okay, so don't click on lava. Click beside the lava. There we go. And there's even more downstairs. Look at this. Um, so we'll grab our pickaxe. Let's triple check and make sure nothing's underneath here. Put some lighting up and get ready for lava. Just like that. Grab that back. This lab is being a little bit ridiculous. Redunculous. Let's see if we can steal this one out. I definitely need some obsidian. I did get two. I'll put them right there because I don't need my axe right now. Let's dig this guy out. I'm just going to block it up this time. Okay, we should be able to steal this one too. I believe we only need 10.
And I can't click underneath. Hmm. So let's put some water here then. I should be able to click underneath that one. That's good. So our diamonds are safe up in the air. In the air. It's up in the air. Oh, goodness. All right. So our diamonds are up. We are 100% safe. We have our diamond or pickaxe fortune three. Nice. And we got a few diamonds out of that. And we need how much more obsidian? At least five more. So I will speed that up. So we got our 10 obsidian. You guys can come back here and ravage it some more. Let's go build our portal. Before we build our portal, we will need a flint and a steel. I guess we can build that right here. So you put your flint and you put your steel. You can also build that in your personal crafting. So let's click. Let's go into the end portal room. I have to build a better way of doing that. So one, two, three, four, five, five. Oh. And then I had to put two into the ceiling. So I'm going to have to build a fake little catwalk. And what? Did I go too high? One, two, three. Oh, yeah. So I went one over too many. So I should have done that to remind myself to go over. Right, that's where it goes. What a twinkle toe. Oh, my. Look what I've done. I'm wasting my axe. Nothing wrong, nothing worse than accidentally. Oh, see? That's a very powerful axe, guys. Gotta be careful. And the other one's stuck up there or something. Something's wrong. Something's wrong. Come on, dude. There, and then. What's messing me up is the height factor. There we go. I should be able to light this. Nice. Now that sound's going to bug you for the rest of the game. Trust me. Oh. Uh, let's fi fix that hole. And that hole. All right, guys. So thanks for watching episode 19. Stay tuned. Episode 20. We're going to zip into the... Uh, nether grab a blaze rod and then we'll make uh, a brewing stand and you guys i guess that's the fastest way around go this way then this way i'm gonna have to have a map uh, and this is going to be where your brewing stand will should be all right guys again thank you very much for watching don't forget to rate subscribe comment you have to comment and subscribe to each one of these videos until the end which could possibly very well be to tomorrow uh once again thanks for watching and we will see you tomorrow and again hopefully tomorrow will be the last day but uh, we'll wait and see what some of the comments are talk to you bye